Philippines squads Pasig Kings and one Bataan Risers gutted out huge victories to advance to the semi-finals of the 2019 Chooks to go Asia Pacific Super Quest Sunday afternoon at the SM Mega Mall Fashion Hall in Pasig. Reigning Chooks to go Pilipinas three times three Presidents Cup champions Kings ground out a 1913 win over Australia's TSV Reading Cinemas. Facing a physically imposing squad, Pasig needed to utilize their speed and shooting against the Aussie club. We knew watching them, they were a physical team. We had to be ready and come in here and go to war, said Munzen, the President's Cup most outstanding player. And from the get go, they wanted to push and shove. So we didn't back down. We prepared ourselves mentally for what the game was going to be. We came out here and executed our game plan. And it was Serbian reinforcement Nikola Pavlovic who delivered the goods early, knocking back to back deuces to give the Philippine side cushion. With Joshua Munzen continuing to struggle, Taylor Statham continued to provide the goods for Pasig, giving the home side a cushion that went to as high as five. Munzen would come alive late when the Aussies were threatening before a long Pavlovic deuce with 38 ticks left ended up as the dagger of the contest. Pavlovic led Pasig with nine points, while Munzen added five markers. Sweet shooting Aussie Tim Coenrad had seven points to lead TSV Reading Cinemas. Pasig takes on top flight Japanese squad Tokyo Dime in the semis. The one baton risers leaned on their duo of guest players in Travis Franklin and Carl Dehisa late in a 21 15 triumph over China's SSLC. The contest was tied at 8 all before Dehisa's 3 times 3 experience proved to be the difference. The 2016 World Cooper scored on a basket while dishing out a good pass to Alvin Pasale to give the risers the lead for good. American import Franklin powered his way inside for easy baskets before Dehisa sealed the win with a beautiful lay in with 137 to spare. We stayed resilient. We're in constant communication with each other and just sticking together at the end of the game, showing our resilient attitude and our persistence to get the dub, said Dehisa. Franklin and Dehisa powered one baton with seven points each. Pasail and Santi Santalan chipped in four markers apiece. Yao Xiao paced the Chinese squad with 7 points. Point one baton takes on the Jakarta West Bandits in the knockout semis at 2 p.m. To open the quarterfinals of this regional meet, Martavius Irving and Jakarta West stunned World No. 15 Yolan Butter, 2019. With the Mongolians up 1918, Irving knocked down the go-ahead deuce with under a minute remaining. Savin Goodman made up for two missed free throws by forcing Tsingbu Iyer Gotov to a tough shot to seal the win. World No. 19 Tokyo Dime of Japan imposed their will on New Zealand's Atiroa, 22-9. Down 8-9 early, the disciplined Japanese squad zoned in on the Kiwis, not allowing a bucket. Serbian import Petr Paranovic sealed the win with a deuce to end the game with 153 to spare. Yolan Butter, Atiroa, SSLC, and TSV Reading Cinema will still go home with US$1000. The scores. First game. Jakarta West 20, Irving 7, Goodman 5, Atkinson 4, Yancey 4. Yolan Bitter 19, Gotov 8, Entbit 5, Davis Ambu 3, Intaven 1. Second game. Tokyo Dime 22, Paranovic 11, Kamatsu 6, Achii 4, Suzuki 1. Atiro 9, Aitchison 4, McIntosh 2, Arua 2, Dunstan 1. Third game. Point 1 Baton 21, Franklin 7. Dehisa 7, Pasail 4, Santalin 4. SSLC 15, Xiao 7, Devranja 3, Liu 3, Zhang 3. Fourth game. Pasig 19, Pavlovic 9, Munzen 5, Statham 4, Reich 1. TSV Reading Cinema 13, Koenrad 7, Allen 4, Tudahep 2, Keating 0, 